Hi there, I am Barbie Van Horn. This is Finding Fine Chocolate, and I wanted to share with you a little experience I had last week. I was in a Franz shop meeting some friends, and Franz is a confectioner here in Seattle, but she is known throughout the U.S. because President Obama and the First Lady like to give her chocolate-covered sea salt caramels away to their friends or to people who visit the White House. So she's world-renowned for her confections. And I'm in a confection shop and I look down and I see a 100% chocolate bar, which I'm not expecting in a confection shop. So of course I buy it because I have to try it. And this is a 100% Madagascar chocolate bar. Now this bar was much bigger, but of course I had to share it and eat it myself too. Um, but I wanted to give you some tasting tips on tasting a 100% bar because 100% bars, in my opinion, are the, the purest form of chocolate. There are no, there's no sugar, there's no inclusions, nothing to hide behind when this chocolate maker is making this chocolate. So they've got to do it right and bring out the right flavor notes to make it palatable for you. So three tips on tasting 100% chocolate. Number one, you want to make sure your palate is cleansed before you start tasting it. Don't eat a bunch of sugary stuff right beforehand. This is not your typical kind of chocolate. This is almost a savory experience, so not a lot of sugar. Cleanse your palate, maybe some water crackers, some water, some tea, something like that to get your mouth kind of clear of sugars and other flavors. Number two, you can see this size square. You don't want a size square like that when you're tasting 100% chocolate. You wanna start with something much smaller. This is a little tiny itty bitty, like a half of a square piece, and this is just about the perfect size to taste when you're tasting 100% chocolate because it gives you enough to melt on your tongue, but it, um, it's not so much that it's going to overwhelm you at, with something new. Now, um, I'm salivating here because I really want to taste. This is so hard not to put it in my mouth. And number three, while you're tasting it, let it melt on your tongue slowly. Don't chew it up and then swallow it. Let it melt slowly. And think about what you're tasting, but do not compare it to other chocolate bars that are not 100% bars. It's okay in your mind to compare it, do I like it better than another 100% bar? But don't compare it to bars with sugar or sweetened bars because it, they're, they're completely different animals. And in a 100% bar, you're going to notice flavors differently than the flavors that are brought out with sugar. So there's my tips on tasting 100% chocolate and the Friends bar that I had. This was a phenomenal bar. Classic Madagascar red fruity berry flavors coming through. Um, a little bit of acidity, which, which brightened it up a bit. So I, I highly recommend this bar. If you're in a Franz, pick one up. And if you've tasted other 100% bars that you like, tell me about it. I love talking chocolate. So uh, tell me what bars you've tasted that are 100%. Talk to you soon. Join me next time.